hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss uh, how we can uh, import a csv file into the pf physical file in ibm is 400 so basically uh, we derive a comma separated value uh, or csv file using the uh, from the tabulate data uh, data format file that is the pf so basically we convert the pf to the csv uh, so for that purpose we use copy to impf command we can have other ways too but uh, if i talk about cl command so we use copy to impf command which converts the pf to the csv format uh, and uh, in a stream file uh, on ifs so uh, and if we want we can import uh, that csv file back to the same pf from where we created a csv file so this is just a csv file so basically used for uh, uh, between the different systems with, uh, as a communication purpose so we can transfer data or exchange data between systems using this uh, csv file in which the fields are separated by or whose values are separated by the comma so let's uh, have the uh, demo so first thing is I would have the CSV file so let's say this today.csv is the CSV file so you can see this uh, CSV file has field name IDN name EDDR1 EDDR2 and the records these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are 10 records in this csv file and uh, having the field names too so um, uh, if we copy uh, the csv file uh, back to the physical file uh, uh, we will be using the copy from copy from impf command to copy this csv file back to the pf so let's uh, do this So for this purpose, we must have the PF existed already when we are going to do perform this thing. So this will not going to create that PF. So let's see if I have PF. So yes, I have that PF having four fields: the ID and name, and EDDR1, EDDR2, and uh, let's perform the copy from um, PF. So here comes the root directory and the home directory then file user profile directory and then so this is my current directory and then the file name is today.csv so this would be blank because I have already provided the prompt string file two file would be pf20 in library easy class one that's the first first member i if i want i can add or i can replace the record stream file length would be two file and two ccs ids uh, for the file because we are copying from the uh, stream file to the database file so the conversion took place in between stream file CSS ID and the database file CSS ID when uh, performing uh, this copy from IMPF to import the CSV back to the PF. Here we'll be uh, using LFCR as a record delimiter character and since we are not using double quotes we are using none so we will be specifying none here you can see the uh, possible values I press enter you will see 10 records copied to member this copy command ended because of error. if I do f10 shift f6 I would see why this error
and if I would check in the file that would get copied successfully we are getting this error just because we have 10 records here you can see we are getting this error just because we have uh, let me show you we have this CSV file uh, where uh, you can see we have the column names too so whenever, whenever I am doing this thing copy from query file or copying the CSV file to the PF what I would do is to check for this value so this is the remove column names so if I took a 4 here so I will see star no star yes so I would be removing the column values from the, the or I would not be cop removing the column values from the IFS when we are copying the uh, CSV to the PF so I would not be basically cop trying to copy this because if I trying to copy this what happened this field uh, you can see uh, it has 444 it's a numeric field in the database PF and let me show you So it's a numeric decimal, uh, it's a decimal field and other ones are the uh, character field. So when I try to copy, it tries to copy this record to from the stream file which is the character value and that's, uh, would, that would be an error. So it copies these 10 records and will leave this one. So, uh, so that's why it's giving that error when uh, I'm specifying a star. no in the remove column name so if I specify star yes it will copy all the records all the 10 records and there would be no error at all let me show you the data so we have copy this much data so if I clear now again copy so we have uh, just we clear just copy so you can see there are 10 records which copied from a CSV file to the uh, database file. So in case uh, what happened if we have the CSV file uh, uh, on the IFS or if we get some CSV file from any application into the IFS uh, we can convert it back to the uh, PF uh, the, the database file um, and then uh, and then we can we can use it so basically uh, uh, this is just uh, this file is just used for the communication or the exchange of data between the two systems also if, if one uh, system want uh, support the the structure of the tables or something uh, at one end uh, it can then use this format to exchange the data and they can use that data at their ends and they can uh, so that, that's 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 all here where uh, we discuss how we can import CSV file into PDF in our MS one. So that's all. Thank you.